Okay, so what we got here is we got the Dream Pup bottle, and we're going to switch out these barrels. So we have a 30. We're, we have the 25 in. We're going to replace it with the 30. So the first one that you're going to use is your 3 millimeter. So we have a 3 millimeter that goes up here on the rail. And you see I'm just leaving the scope on the rail because the rail does need to come off. Okay, so we're going to do this. We'll take this. Take that off there. Uh, we'll take these two got that right there now what we're able to do is I will take uh, also Donnie take this off okay make sure we have that off and then what I'm going to be able to do is just slide look my scope is still attached so I wanted to show you this so the scope's still locked into place I know where I set it there all right, so now we have that. So now we'll set that aside. So now what I want to show you is you have three screws on top. You have a four millimeter and we have a three. And the four goes right here. So it goes right in there. And you just backed it off. You see I didn't have a lot on there. There's not a lot of tension on there. And then also now you take your three and you go here. Okay, back it off here right there I hope that you're seeing this okay so there you go now your screws are loose I don't take them the whole way out you can but now oh now your barrel is now out so now the barrels out so there's the 25 and, and now this is what you have right here okay now we're going to take that I'm gonna set that back down I'm gonna step over here and put the barrel over here all right Oh, one thing I want to tell you that you do want is you want the, I keep this sleeve here, so I'll keep this sleeve that goes in here for the Dream Pop bottle. All right. So now the next step that you have is one other thing you have to do is you have to come in here and you have to get right there is a one, I think this is a one five that I got millimeter. And it's right in here so right in there is a 1.5 and what that is that's holding your bolt in place so now we want to go in there with a small allen wrench like this and we want to get to that now now this you want to be very careful with as you take it out because I'm you're seeing me move this towards the center Now that comes completely out. I'm setting that right in that tray so I don't lose it. Now my bolt is loose and it just comes, here's your bolt. So there's your bolt. Now what I do with this, once I, once I take these out, I put it, I come over here and I'm going to put it back with this so I know that it's there. So I know 25, there's my bolt. And I keep it with that and I put it in a tube and that's how I keep them. set that over there so now we have our now we have our 30 so now we want to put our 30 bolt in one thing's for sure that you want to make is when you put that in you want to make sure that you have your bolt facing down so your airflow comes up through so the bottom of it's right where it needs to be and you can feel that and see that it goes in there it just goes in that way. Now we're going to take this, put this back in. Okay. And you take your time and you feel this as you're putting it in. And one thing you want to make sure is that when you're doing this, that you have your bolt the whole way back and that you feel it's just snug and now that you know that that's in there and you'll know if you don't have your bolt the whole way back and you tighten that screw down because you'll when you go to put your barrel in you'll feel that it won't insert properly and that's telling you that that's not right so don't be cutting your o-ring okay so then we're gonna take this has a notch right here this is pretty uh, We'll just, well, we won't say idiot proof, but you understand what I mean. 
you'll be able to put this in here and slide this in. It's best just to stand it up so you can see what you're doing. And you'll feel it. You turn it. Try and turn it. You know that you're locked into place now. Now what I do is I close my bolt, make sure everything's working properly. Okay. And I take my four. I just snug that down. And I have my threes. Okay, it's three millimeter right here. Boom. Nice and snug. No, no He-Man, Hawk stuff. Nice and snug there. Okay. That felt good. Put my sleeve back over the top. Bring my sleeve down. And what that sleeve's doing is just your cover sleeve right there. See that? It helps right here with the spacing. Now, we want to take our scope. We want to bring our scope and bring our scope down. And then what you're doing is you're going to come down to a V-notch right here. So, I'm trying to do this one-handed. It's not easy. So, when you come down to here, now you're going to guide that onto that rail right there. So now it's guided on and you can see I just I put it back to where now this is going to be interesting because I'm going to shoot this in so I put that right to there now I'm putting my screws my three millimeter screws back in okay and I'll tighten that up in a second tight not over tight Okay, I'm, I brought it back to flush where it was. Right here, I know that I bring it back to the same point as you can see right here. My rail is now back on, my sleeve's back on. And that is how you how simple it is to really change a barrel in the, in the Dream Pub bottle. You can see our bolt, everything's good. Okay, well, let's test this 30 out.